Hey friends, welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to solve this algebraic expression. And the expression is 3 times root 1 plus under root x that is equal to under root 1 plus 3 times root of x. And we'll have to find the value of x. So friend, please subscribe my channel and do not forget to give thumbs up to the video. Now for solution of these expressions, we will let both the expressions is equal to y. Now for solution of the first equation, we will write 3 times root that is 1 plus under root x that is equal to y so now for solution of this expression we will cube both the side it is cube left hand and as well as in the right hand side so here cube value and 3 times root value gets cancelled so now we can write the equation as 1 plus under root x that is equal to y cube hope this is clear to you so from here we will calculate the value of x so we will write x in the left hand side and it will be under root x that is equal to y cube this one will be minus 1 in the right hand side now for the value of x we will square both the side it is x square in the right hand side also is square now square value and under root gets cancelled so we got the value of x that is equal to in the right hand side we can see it is in the form of a minus b whole square so we'll write so here a square means y cube square means y to the power 6 minus 2ab means 2y cube plus b square means 1 square is 1 so we have got the value of x here we'll let this as equation 1 now for the second expression here it is under root 1 plus 3 times x that is equal to y so here we'll square both the side for the value of x so it is square left hand side and right hand side also so here under root value and square gets cancelled so now expression is 1 plus 3 times root x that is equal to y square now we'll keep the value of x in the left hand side and it will be 3 times root x 3 times root x that is equal to y square minus 1 1 will be in the right hand side minus 1 so now we'll cube both the side we'll cube both the side here left hand side and right hand side here in the left hand side 3 times root and cube get cancelled so here we have calculated the value of x x is equal to now in the right hand side if you look at it is a minus b whole cube formula a cube means y square cube y to the power 6 minus 3 a square b means 3 y 4 plus 3ab square means 3y square minus b cube means 1 cube is value 1 so let this as equation 2 now from both the equation we have calculated the value of x in the 1 and 2 also so we can equate the equation as so now we can write equation 1 right hand side that is y6 minus 2y cube plus 1 that is equal to now right hand side of the second equation that is y6 minus 3y power 4 plus 3y square minus 1 y6 in the left hand side and right hand side gets cancelled now we'll solve the equation it will be we'll take this value in the left hand side it will be plus 3y minus 2y cube plus 3y square in the right hand side it will be minus 3y square in the left hand side and now 1 and this value will be also plus 1 in the left hand side it will be 1 plus 1 that is plus 2 that is equal to 0 now we'll arrange and write the equation here first 3y power 4 3y power 4 now we'll write minus 3y square minus 3y square now minus 2y cube minus 2y cube here plus 2 that is plus 2 that is equal to 0 now from these two terms we can take 3y square common 3y square common and remaining is y square minus 1 now from here we can take 2 common we will take minus 2 common and it will be y cube minus 1 that is equal to 0 now we'll put the value of y square minus 1 that is a square minus b square form here a cube minus b cube form so we'll write 3y square y plus 1 means a plus b and y minus 1 minus 2 here a cube minus b cube means a minus 1 times a square means y square plus ab means y plus b square 1 that is equal to 0 now from here we can take y minus 1 common y minus 1 common from these two terms so y minus 1 we have taken common times and the remaining will be 3y square here 3y square times y plus 1 now here minus 2 times y square plus y plus 1 that is equal to 0 that is equal to 0 
now here the value of it will copy in the next page and it will be now we have copied it here now we'll simplify the expression it will be y minus 1 now we'll multiply 3y square and y plus 1 that will be 3y cube plus 3y square now this terms minus 2y square minus 2y minus 2 that is equal to 0 now we'll simplify it it will be y minus 1 times 3y cube here plus 3y square minus 2y square that will be plus y square and minus 2y minus 2 that is equal to 0 so here we can write y minus 1 and 3y cube now here the value of y square we write minus 3y square so we have written minus 3y square so we'll have to add 4y square now the value of 2y we will write in terms of minus 4y plus 2y and here minus 2 that is equal to 0 now if you look at from these two we can take 3y square common and from here 4y and here plus 2 so we'll write y minus 1 and from here we'll take 3y square common and it will be y minus 1 plus here 4y and it will be y minus 1 and here plus 2 it will be y minus 1 that is equal to 0 now next y minus 1 and from here we can take y minus 1 again common and remaining will be 3y square plus 4y 4y plus 2 that is equal to 0 now next will be y minus 1 whole square times 3y square plus 4y plus 2 that is equal to 0 here the multiplication of two value is 0 so we can write either y minus 1 square is 0 or 3y square plus 4y plus 2 is 0 now if you solve the value of y minus 1 will be 0 and the value of y here we have 1 now here we'll calculate the value of d that is under root value and it should not be 0 that is b square minus 4ac here the b square value is 4 e square minus 4 the value of a is 3 and value of c is 2 and it is 4 e square is 16 minus 4 times 3 is 12 12 and 24 and that is 6 minus 8 so we will not get the real solution from this so here the value of y that is equal to 1 we will take now from here we will go to the previous slide it will be the value of y the value of y we have that is equal to 1 so we can write 3 times 1 plus under root x that is equal to value of y is 1 so we'll cube both the side it will be 1 cube is 1 so 1 plus under root x that is equal to 1 the value of under root x will be 1 and 1 cancel equal to 0 so the value of under root x is 0 so the value of x will also be 0 so friend we have got the expression the value of x is that is equal to 0 is our answer so friend how my video is give your comment in the comment box and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching the video